just like to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about our helicopter underwater escape trainers that we have here on site, the METS Model 30 from Survival Systems in Canada, one of the most advanced systems available. The METS Model 30 is a very versatile trainer and can be configured to simulate a number of different types of helicopters offshore. The one that's presently behind me has exits from the S92 and also the Puma, two of the most widely used helicopters in the North Sea. This cockpit is set up to simulate the S92 and is particularly useful when training pilots for the offshore environment. Inside, much like the back of the module, every attention to detail has been taken looking at dimensions and equipment. When a pilot uses this trainer, he's instantly familiar with his surroundings, even down to the escape mechanism on the door. Inside the trainer itself, there's been a lot of attention to detail to create the most realistic conditions possible for delegates during helicopter escape. We have realistic seat sizes, as you can see in the one I'm sitting in at the moment, realistic distances and seat set out, uh, as you can see from the distance between myself and the side of the trainer here, and also realistic window openings, all copied exactly from models of helicopters used in the offshore industry. Irrespective of the configuration inside the helicopter, safety of delegates during underwater escape training is paramount, and this system has a number of safety features incorporated to guarantee safety. The system from which the helicopter trainer is suspended is tested to in excess of three times the weight you would expect when it's fully loaded with people. We have four points of connection, which means that even in the event of a single point or multiple point failure, as long as one cable is still connected, we can still recover the module out of the water. Also what we have above is two hoists which control all operations and can be operated independently of each other in the case of failure to retrieve the module. The entire system that we've looked at so far is controlled and monitored by this electronic panel on the wall. Even in the unlikely event of power failure, the module can be recovered from the water using this button here on the side, which triggers an airlift and allows us to raise the module clear of the water in under 10 seconds. During helicopter escape sessions, the operator operates the module with this control. This means that we have added safety as he can change his viewpoint to assess any situation and isn't fixed in one place. For training to be effective, it has to be carried out in the most realistic conditions possible. The systems that we have here at SurviveX allow us to have complete control and carry out training in the safest environment possible.